Hello, how you doing? Okay, um, this video is about why I started my dreadlocks. I have a playlist on, on starting dreadlocks and uh, part one, part two, part three, part four of how I started my dreadlocks. And I'll do, and I'll do a, a, a short little video showing you what they look like after one month, six months, and a year. Um, but, uh, by the way, this is less than a week. Look at that. Everybody has little gifts, you know, that, that life gave them. For a white person, I'm very lucky when it comes to dreadlocks. That's pretty incredible for less than a week, really. It's like they're coming along really good. Um, so I did talk, I did talk about why I started them. Uh, when when starting them, you know, just because I want I wanted to feel like my life was making doing a better job making the message that I wanted to make, you know, like in life, that's the whole point of freedom, and that's the whole crime of of not freedom is that all you have is your life, you know. That's why like rules and laws that make it so someone can't have dreadlocks or tattoos or. Or, you know, transgender people having surgeries or any of the laws that try to tell someone how, how to take care of their body. It's just, it's a crime because that, that's, all you, that's all you have. You know, all you really have is your life. You know, you can't go around being, you'd have to be a total control freak to need to control how, what everybody does with their bodies. It's their body. They should be able to do with it whatever they want, you know. That includes abortions, in my opinion. They're like, oh, well, that's taking someone else's life, but, you know, then what, why is everybody so divided on it? Obviously, there's a, a division of opinion there, you know, so therefore, there's, someone should be able to embody either, to, you know, choose either of the options. So, anyway, this is definitely not about abortion. I'm not a fan of that subject. Don't like it. Uh, I'm pro-choice, of course, but I'm always pro-choice. I'm big into freedom. Um, dreadlocks. So, uh, I, I, so I talked a little bit about the reasons already, but now that I've done it, you know, so there's, there's talking about it, planning it, and doing it in life, you know, and all those things can be pretty different. When I was starting my dreadlocks, there was so many spirits walking around in my apartment. Some, some spirits were angry, some spirits were worried, some spirits were happy. There was all, there was like every emotion in there. I mean, like some, there were some spirits walking around my apartment. They were, they were mad and there were some that were just like, like it's some kind of big victory. And, and there was some, you know, some, some had more of a feeling of understanding and, and, you know, like understanding me as a person, you know, because to understand me is to know it's a victory, you know. The people that were mad were, were controlling spirits. There's a lot, there's a lot, I've, I have a history with controlling spirits, you know. I think it's because on my mom's side, they're like Mormon pioneers and everything. And I think there's, there's people that I'm genetically related to on the, in the spirit realm that want me to be a Mormon really bad, but I'm just, just uh, I'm just not a Mormon really bad, or at all, really. <laughs> yeah. And so, they get mad whenever I make choices like that. There, there's, uh, there's other, been other spirits. This isn't really about that, but um, I'm, I'm just kind of that kind of a person. I can see spirits, like if a ghost walks right past me, it doesn't even make me flinch or my heart raise or anything. I don't even really barely notice it any more than if just a human walks past me on the sidewalk. So sometimes I'll be like, that was a ghost, you know, you know, turn around and look at it, you know, that's pretty trippy, right? And then like, that, it doesn't usually work that way, you know, it's rare that you can, I can see him again after that. Because my first reaction is to not care because it's just so common for me, you know. Um, but uh, but even more common than that is to feel them, you know, to feel their presence and to know they're there. 
And feeling them is a more detailed experience than seeing them. When you see them, you're not really sure who they are or what they're doing. But when you feel them, you know a lot about who they are and what they're doing, you know. And there was a lot of those kind of spirits. It's a major victory. And like going out into the world, walking around, I'm attracting different kinds of people. And I'm attracting, it's, it's, I, I, my locks I can tell are going to be a good bridge for me to making new friends and to meeting new people. Because it's attracting the right kinds of people, you know. Um, it's making my presence more specific and it's in, and it's, it's in a, in a good way. And that's obviously why some spirits were mad because it's going to link me with people they don't want me to be linked with, but they're, they're people that I should be being linked with. The kind of people that like dreadlocks and, and, and are, Hey, that, that, that uh, woman has dreadlocks, you know, let's go talk to her. You know, that's uh, those kind of people that would feel that way should come up and talk to me. You know, I want to meet them and, and they want to meet me. It's the, it's a good thing. It's, you know, that's exactly the kind of person that should bother with me, you know, the kind of person that, you know, cause like I, I tend to dress kind of cute with my makeup and stuff. So it, sometimes it can attract a little bit too, you know, it gives me this, uh, I, I kind of have a misleading appearance. Like I really care about my appearance and it's not real. I don't really care very much about my appearance, you know? Um, not as much as you would think, and I'm definitely not a narcissist, you know, uh, you can't really be a loner and a narcissist. Narcissists have a lot of failed relationships. In fact, they don't have any long lasting or really good relationships, but they need that narcissistic supply. So they can't be a true isolated loner, you know, cause that's, they're not driven that way, you know? They need their narcissistic supply if you study your psychology. And plus, uh, I have no problem. I'm an empath. I have lots of empath empathy and compassion. Too much, really. And that's, that's if I have a hard time making friends, it's because I'm an empath. I'm definitely not a narcissist. Empaths can be loners and oftentimes are, maybe most of the time are. And if you study that subject, those are the real reasons I'm a loner. Um, but, uh, I don't want to be a loner. It's not my future. If I live long enough, I will find new friends and everything. Um, but as far as my dreadlocks, I just, it's, it's a feeling in a nutshell. It's kind of like coming home again, like being on a long vacation and the way your home feels when you come home again, it's just like, Hey, that's all my, that's all my stuff. And it just has that feeling, you know? It's like coming home again. It feels really good, really good. It feels like I'm being me and being more genuine. Uh, and just, uh, it feels fantastic. It really does. Um, I'm glad to have my dreadlocks back so much. Very happy about it.